So have you ever had a roll of film come back blank except with the edge numbers? So that has two likely causes, the film either not being exposed or the developer being spent. Today's video looks at the film not being exposed and how to recognize that. This photo shows film that was not exposed. The edge data are visible and properly exposed. When a roll of film is developed in chemistry, which is uh, of a proper of suitable strength, then the edge data on that film are visible. If the edge data are invisible or, or very faint, then that lets you know that the chemistry is weak. I believe that the edge data are imprinted at the factory in a manner similar to the way time stamps are imprinted onto film when a camera has a data back. Basically, a targeted light burst prints the data onto the edges. If you've ever noticed that the edge data are lighter or darker corresponding to how a roll is developed, that correlation supports this idea. If you get a roll of film from the lab or develop it yourself and it looks like this with no images but good edge data, there are two possible causes, user error or a problem with the camera's mechanics. Now here's how to diagnose that. For twin lens reflex, viewfinder, and rangefinder cameras, was the lens cap off? It's very easy to forget to take it off and see the image through your finding lens or your view and rangefinder, but not actually have any light reach the film. For SLRs, because you will know if you've left the lens cap on because you'll only see blackness in the viewfinder, you want to remove the camera's lens and with no film in the camera, open up the camera back. Hold the camera to a light, not the sun, but a light bulb will work just fine, and look at the curtain. Then test the curtain at every speed the camera can do. If your camera goes up to 30 seconds, you can probably stop testing at one second. Holding the camera to a light will let you see if the shutter is allowing light through. Looking at the camera without a light in front of the curtain, just looking at it, holding it on your lap or something like that, will make it basically impossible to see if the shutter is working because when you hold it up to the light, you get a burst of photons through it when the curtain works and your eyes will pick up on that really easily, far more easily than seeing the movement of a curtain at fast speed. So if the curtain is working, the next thing you need to do is test the light meter against the Sunny 16 rule. If the exposure from the meter is within a stop of what the Sunny 16 guidance would be for a proper exposure, then your meter is fine. If the curtain and meter are working, the next thing you need to do is check the lens to make sure that it works. It's rare that a lens's aperture sticks at the smallest opening, but I have had it happen once. Typically, a lens aperture, if it sticks, will stick open, but it's good to rule out a lens malfunction with this just to make sure that you don't miss that. And it's an easy thing to test. If all the mechanical bits are working properly, then the issue is almost certainly user error that caused the film to not record any images. In that case, then what you should do is take a look at the video manual that I've made for your model of camera, or if I haven't made one for your specific model of camera, something that's close to it. The most important thing you can do is not become frustrated or disheartened by the process or angry at yourself or the camera just because some film didn't turn out. This series of negative flaw videos is 20 something videos long. How do I know about all these flaws? Well, because I've made every mistake except one in this series. Mistakes are our best teacher and they will teach you lessons that you will never forget. And when you make a mistake with your film camera, you are in the company of every great photographer of the last hundred years.